lose you. You could lose me. We could die. Yeah. Hey, and what? You just, hey. So, I like to snuggle. <laughs> oh God, we're gonna start here. This is where we're starting. <laughs> Welcome back for another season of The Salties. We have been on vacation here at Manchester by the Sea. This is going on our like second week and a half. Mm -hmm. And this is usually the time when all the family leaves. And years ago, we would spend all this time talking about the dynamics and one day we decided to film them. So this is the filming of just the family dynamics, the places where we fumble and fall down in relationship and get yeah. back up and how we get all squirrely and irritating each other and make yeah. up and separate and make up and just do the dance of relationship and i think this is actually our third session our third season of doing this really yeah um and so here we are older and wiser <laughs> <laughs> or not um <laughs> And, and and we like to tell our stories to exemplify teaching points and what's going on. Um, so anything else you want to say in terms of setup before I jump in? I would say that a lot of the issues we are fumbling with are quite universal, like with couples and in family systems. And so, you know, our, our hope is that, that our fumbling and our learning um, is useful in your life and that you take something that you can run with. And we both work with people as well. So, you know, we might talk about working with somebody with a particular thing, but typically with these videos, we're gonna talk about ourselves and our own personal dynamics and then the global picture of how it might support you. Yeah. So, I like to snuggle. <laughs> oh God, we're going to start there. This is where we're starting. <laughs> I, I, oh, dude. I have a desire okay. for contact and snuggling. And um, I do, I like it. And I think I like it more than she likes it. So how's that for a little male-female switcheroo? <laughs> There. Um, so the other day I'm I, I'm in bed and I'm like oh come snuggle and she she kind of like comes over but not fully like not just kind of like eh, inching over and then you know we snuggle for like a, a good ten seconds before she like pops up into a sitting position and out of contact with me and tells me about something that's on her mind blah, 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 that's very important to her. And I'm like, hey, what? You just, hey. And um, and then she comes back and I'm snuggling and starting to whisper sweet nothings and, and then she's on her cell phone. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, what? Like, what? Oh, and you know what I realized is funny? The day prior I was saying, oh, I don't feel like I'm getting much time with you because we've been with family so much. I really right. want to connect with you. Yeah. We want to be with you. And then yeah. here this moment comes and I'm like, defense. So I'm defending on some like, like, oh, yeah, I was defending against getting close to you. And so what? You say you want to connect with me. Uh -huh. I'm reaching out for a you know, re direct request for snuggling. I wasn't right. beating around the bush. I wasn't like playing coy. I was like, hey, come here. I want to snuggle. So what do you think's going on there? Why, why, what's with the... I think I had some layers of, um, layers of distance that I sometimes get that I have to kind of move through mm. to then be more available. Mm. And why the distance? What do you think is creating this? <laughs> you know, what, what goes on in us humans that we say we want contact, we say we want connection, and yet we have distance when the opportunity is there? I know. I think it's just how we're wired in some ways. It's like we're both seeking the intimacy and the closeness and also kind of the independence and the I'm okay on my own. Mm. and. Um, I was talking to Ben about, there's a book by a guy named Stephen Mitchell, um, Can Love Last, and he's a psychoanalyst who passed away a while back, but he kind of builds off the premise that as we, um, as we're further in relationship, 
Long term, deeper. Long term, right? Yeah. right? We're almost 15 years together. As you're further deeper in long term relationship, it actually gets more vulnerable. And part of our job is to not keep defending because it is so damn vulnerable. How is it vulnerable? How is it vulnerable? Yeah, why, why is it long term relationship vulnerable? It seems. Like... I could lose you. You could lose me. We could die. We could, you know. Like, there's a vulnerability to continuing to love. Huh. Um, that it's not all, like, if we're, his premise too is like, it's not all safety and security, right? Like, uh -huh. that we crave actually both. We crave romance and erotic and new. Safe and new. Yeah. Yeah. And that is a very polarized. Experience. Safety right? and security on one side. Mm -hmm. I'm solid. I've got this relationship. Right. And on the other We're side, in. wanting something new, something sparky, something different. Right. Yeah. I can, yeah. Independence I and feel the polarity. Yeah. Cool. And so I'm, about, I'm still with this vulnerability. Okay. So to me, the vulnerability feels like I'm deeper in relationship with you. I'm deeper in love with you, and there's something vulnerable about that. Yeah. And if I really let myself be in how much I am in love with you, oh, God. ooh, yeah, you know? I, it's like there's tears coming to my eyes. I'm not sure why, but there's something about this that's moving me. Yeah. It's like the depth of love is vulnerable to admit. Right. Oh, oh like I'd be gutted, you know, if something happened to you. Right. Whether by choice or by accident <laughs> or by... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like devastated internal. And I think it's really important that that, that also gets some light on it. Mm. Because there's aliveness in that. Right? What, what's the aliveness in? The aliveness is we can't take each other for granted. I mean, we could, and we do, but... Um, I'm pretty awake to the impermanence of that we ch we're changing and we're always growing and um, there's an impermanence that actually fosters aliveness. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit of a wake up, snap out, pay attention. Yeah, you know? like maybe this relationship won't be here forever. Yeah. M maybe out of choice or maybe somebody gets sick or injured or dies. Or whatever like there's something there for you to lean into and and, and value and appreciate because it couldn't be it could be gone tomorrow and they say like sometimes with couples who get really into safety and security right that that um they almost become like they lose this other piece, you know, of yeah. romance or eroticism. Or, and if they're okay with being in safety and security, that's fine. But I think when, we, when I tap into the possibility of losing you, yeah. I'm super aware of like, oh shit, um, I want to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If both people are okay with the safety and security, it works. Right, and not craving anything different. We're not right? craving a lot. But if one person in the couple... Right. You know? Right. Want something different. Want they something will different. start to act out in big ways, small or large. You know, it's like they'll start to go for radical acts of like trying to get that heard or seen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we've rattled some cages here. Anything <laughs> else you want to say before we wrap this one? Um. I think it's a fun game to play in some ways. Uh, you know, sometimes for people who need more security and safety and attachment, they don't like this perspective. Uh, the attachment folks might not like this perspective. Um, and yet for me, it just feels like a sober, uh, a sobriety to what's true is that we're always picking each other um every day yep all right so 
Uh, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, head over to touchedandtransformed.com and click on the free videos. And uh, we do seminars and one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you're interested in more intimate contact with the Salties, let us know.